When Jesus told me that my fate was to come back into this world and that I was not going to go to heaven, which is what I wanted to do, I argued as forcibly as I could to not send me back here. And I told him that the world was full of evil and just a terrible place. And he said, yeah, there's a lot of evil in the world and there's a lot of bad stuff in the world, but he said there's also a lot of good and a lot of loving people. And he said that what you are in your heart is what you're going to seek. If you seek hate, you'll find hate. And you are hate. If you seek love, you'll find love and you'll be love. If you seek kindness, you'll find kindness and you'll be kindness. And so we have to, we have to be it and seek it and we will find it. So I said, but what's the, what's the point of sending me back? I mean, I, I don't, I don't, why would you want me to go back to that world? I mean, that's, if you really loved me, you wouldn't send me back to that place. And he said, I need you. I need you back there. I said, you need me to do what? And he said, I need you to change the world. And I said, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 I'm not going to change the world. I said, I don't even know if I can change me. You know, I mean, like, I, I don't know if I can be what you want me to be. I mean, be the kind of loving, kind person you want me to be. And asking me to be, like, you know, the savior of the world, he didn't say that. I said it. You know, I was sort of being, exaggerating my role. And he said, no, he said, that's really what I want you to do. I said, I want you to, I want you to change the world. And I said, that's crazy. I said, like, you know, people that try and change the world um, come out to a bad end. I mean, you know, like we're talking about Stalin and Hitler and Genghis Khan and, you know, I mean, they all wanted to change the world and they were all, you know, megalomaniacs. I don't want to, I don't want to go back and be a megalomaniac. And he said, no, 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 no. He said, you got it all wrong. He said, they, 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 were, they were bad. You know, they, were, they were megalomaniacs. He said, that's not how I want you to change the world. And I said, well, how do you want me to change the world? And he said, love somebody. And I said, okay. Yeah, but what's the rest of the plan? And he said, no, that's the whole plan. And I said, if I go back and love someone, that changes the world. And he said, that's the plan. That's it. And I said, what's the rest of the plan? And he said, that's the whole plan. There is no more. Just love somebody. And I said, if I love somebody, how in the world will that change anything? And he said, if you love someone, really truly love them, they will love someone. And that person will love someone, and that person will love someone. And me being the clever fellow that I want, I said, yeah. And then they get run over by a truck, and that's the end of the plan. And he said, no, because he said, I never said you're the only one. He said, there's a lot. And I said, well, how many? He said, millions. Millions of people are the instrument of change. And I said, okay, but there's a lot of trucks down there and there a lot of bad stuff can happen to thwart the millions of people trying to love somebody. He said, yeah, but he said, I have a backup. And what's, I said, what's the backup? And he said, angels. And I said, so you're going to bring the angels into this? And he says, the angels are already in it. They're already intervening. They're doing, he said, so I've got millions of people. I've got like, angels beyond counting, all trying to inspire people, encourage people, help people. He said, this is God's will. It is inevitable. It's going to happen one way or another. It's, it has to happen because it's what God wants. And I said, well, when you put it that way, <laughs> when you put it as like, you know, God's going to make it happen, I said, sure, I'd be happy to be a part of it. So anyways, um, this is my interpretation. You're either part of the program or you're against it. I mean, the, the, there is no longer an opportunity to sit on the fence and say, oh, look at the foolish, loving people doing the loving thing. Good luck to them and the Boston Red Sox. And look at the bad people going around, you know, fermenting hate and fear and, you know, and um, strife in the world. You know, good luck to them. You, you can't do that anymore. You, are, you either are in the program, which is God's program, of turning this world into a loving and kind place or you're against the program and there's, and there's nothing in between.